Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two right triangles, triangle uh, ABD and the other right triangle uh, BCE put together as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we get this uh, pink uh, shaded quadrilateral uh, EBDF such that uh, this segment uh, AE is uh, 40 units, whereas this segment uh, EB is uh, 80 units and moreover uh, this segment uh, CD is 30 units whereas this segment uh, BD is uh, 60 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABD. And we are going to calculate the area of this triangle ABD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base times height. And in our case, uh, the base uh, of this triangle is going to be 40 plus 80 is going to make uh, 120. And the height uh, of this uh, triangle is going to be 60. So therefore the area of this triangle is going to be a half uh, times 120 times uh, 60. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 3600. And now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, BCE. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle as well. And once again, we are going to use the very same uh, area of a triangle formula, a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, triangle is going to be 80 units, whereas the height uh, of this uh, triangle is going to be 30 plus 60 is going to make uh, 90 units. So therefore, the area of this triangle uh, BCE is going to be a half uh, times uh, 80 times uh, 90 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 3600 uh, and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this point uh, B and uh, F and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, pink shade region uh, area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBF this uh, triangle uh, area plus the area of this uh, another triangle uh, BDF, this uh, triangle uh, area. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBF uh, and likewise we are going to calculate the area of this other triangle uh, BDF uh, as well. And here's our next step. I have dropped these uh, two perpendiculars uh, FT and uh, FP as you can see in this uh, diagram. Let me label uh, this uh, perpendicular FT as uh, lowercase a and this perpendicular FP as uh, lowercase uh, b. And now our task is uh, to solve for uh, lowercase a and for uh, lowercase b as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EBF. And now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, EBF. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base of this triangle is uh, 80 and the height uh, is lowercase a. So therefore, the area of this triangle is going to be a half uh, times our base is 80 times our height is lowercase uh, a. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 40 times a and now let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, BDF and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle BDF and we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula and in our case the base of this uh, triangle is uh, 60 and the height of this uh, triangle is lowercase b so therefore the area of it, this triangle is going to be a half uh, times uh, 60 times uh, lowercase uh, b and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 30 times b 
and now let's recall this equation once again the pink uh, region area is going to be equal to this triangle EBF area that we figured out uh, over here plus the area of this uh, the triangle BDF and the area of this triangle is over here as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we got uh, 40A plus uh, 30 times uh, B so therefore our pink area turns out to be 40A plus uh, 30B let me label uh, this equation as equation uh, number 1 and here's our next step let's make an observation we can see the area of this right triangle uh, ABD the area of this uh, right triangle is going to be equal to the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABF this green shaded plus the area of this uh, the triangle uh, BDF this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle and now our task is to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABF uh, and likewise the area of this uh, triangle uh, BDF as well and once again we are going to apply the very same area of a triangle formula for this uh, triangle uh, ABF uh, its uh, base is going to be 40 plus 80 is going to make it uh, 120 and the height uh, of this triangle is going to be lowercase a so therefore the area of this triangle ABF is going to be a half uh, times base is uh, 120 times height is lowercase uh, a and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 60 times a and now let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, BDF and we can see its uh, base uh, is uh, 60 and the height of this triangle is lowercase p so therefore the area of this uh, triangle BDF is going to be a half uh, times uh, 60 times the lowercase uh, b and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 30 times uh, b and now let's make an observation we can see the area of this triangle uh, ABD we already figured out as uh, 3600 so I'm going to replace uh, over here 3600 uh, right here so therefore after substitution we ended up with the 3600 equal to 60 times A plus 30 times B let me divide uh, across the board uh, by 30 with each and every term so therefore we are ended up this uh, 60 divided by 30 is going to give us uh, 2 times a plus uh, b equals to 120 let me label this our equation uh, number 2 and now let's focus uh, on another equation the area of this uh, triangle uh, BCE this uh, right triangle uh, BCE area is going to be equal to this uh, triangle uh, EBF area the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle plus the area of this uh, other triangle uh, BCF this uh, green shaded triangle and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBF and likewise the area of this uh, triangle uh, BCF as well and let's recall the, once again the area of a triangle formula for this uh, triangle uh, EBF uh, the base uh, is uh, 80 and the height uh, is lowercase a so therefore the area of this triangle uh, EBF is going to be a half times uh, base is 80 times the height is lowercase a so that is going to give us 40 times a and let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, BCF uh, we can see its uh, base uh, is going to be 30 plus 60 is going to make uh, 90 and the height of this triangle is going to be lowercase b so therefore the area of this triangle is going to be a half uh, times base is uh, 90 times lowercase b so this is going to be 45 uh, times b and now we can see on the left hand side this uh, triangle uh, bc area we already figured out uh, this bce area is uh, 3600 so I'm going to replace uh, this one over here 3600 on the left hand side so therefore after the substitution uh, our equation turns out to be 3600 equals to 40 times a plus uh, 45 times b and we can write this equation the other way around it doesn't make any difference whatsoever let me call this our equation number uh, 3 
and here we are ended up with these equations one two and uh, three and now we are going to solve for uh, lowercase a and lowercase b let's focus on this uh, equation two i am going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative uh, 20 so therefore if we multiply both sides by negative 20 we are going to get negative 40a minus 20b equals to negative 2400 on the right hand side and here is our equation uh, number 3 from uh, here and now we are going to add uh, these two equations we can see this negative 40a and positive 40a they are gone and this is going to give us uh, 25 times uh, b equals to 1200 on the right hand side let's divide both sides by 25 to isolate b so therefore b value turns out to be 48 uh, units and now let's focus once again on this uh, equation 2 and here is our equation 2 and uh, i'm going to substitute b value as 48 uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this b by 48 let's subtract 48 from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, 2 a turns out to be 72 let's divide uh, by 2 on both sides to isolate a so therefore a value turns out to be 36 and now let's focus on this uh, equation 1 and here i have copied down equation 1 pink area equals to 40 times a plus uh, 30 times b and we already figured out a as uh, 36 and b value as uh, 48 as you can see in this uh, next step and if we simplify and add uh, it turns out to be 2880 square units so thus the area of this uh, pink shaded region turns out to be 2880 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye